Hello everyone. Um, today, uh, my name is Ryoko. I am from Japan. I'm Japanese. Uh, my parents are Japanese and I grew up, uh, born and grew up in Japan. And I am in Ireland currently uh, and te started to teach Japanese to uh, Irish born children, uh, teenagers here. And in my county in Ireland, um, I have so many Muslim uh, residents here too. Um, as growing up in Japan, the Muslim population is not so big that I never met a Muslim person till I came to Ireland. I didn't, I didn't even, I didn't really interact with uh, Muslim people when I was in the US or Canada or India or Ecuador. These are the countries I stayed longer, like, or France, uh, longer than one month and four or five, between one month and four or five years. Um, I was in the US for five years, uh, San Francisco and New York. But I really didn't have um, a really depth experience with Muslim culture or customs till I came to Ireland. I'm 31 years old, uh, but never had that experience in 20s uh, in, when I was younger. So I am on the way to learn Muslim culture daily at the moment because um, my babysitter, my daughter, three years old, go to a uh, Muslim babysitter every single day. Uh, my daughter is really happy. Um, and my previous babysitter family was also from a uh, Muslim background. So their food, um, the shop they go to is different. They don't go to regular butcher and uh the way they cook the meat they they uh prepare the meat and and like also their attitude towards alcohol and also towards pork they were all just too different from my culture from asian japanese like non-religious culture like when I grew up in Japan, there was no restriction into however the way we cook meat. You can cut whatever the way you want. Um, and it's like America too, like it's more like mass production way. And we don't really consider anything about how the animals are uh, going through the pain and stuff. And also like, Muslim culture have Muslim, um, Ramadan, uh, which I never really paid attention. I met some people who were doing Ramadan, um, in places in, around the world, but, um, it was not really too close to me. I really didn't go through a deep conversation or understand the culture, um, till this year. Um, but yeah, I am. Um, in the process of understanding Muslim uh, the last two years because of the babysitters and also the kids I'm teaching Japanese, they, I want them to try Japanese food, but so many food in Jap uh, Japanese food are uh, not halal food, which is like we use pork into every dish, we use alcohol in every dish and the meat, we never do halal way. So, I have to buy some ingredients from the halal shops in Ireland and I have to cook and prepare on my own in order to uh, to serve to these uh, kids. So I, I like culture. I always enjoyed learning different culture and different thoughts. Um, that's just me. Uh, I studied philosophy in university philosophy and art i always and so sociology and stuff anthropology those are like my favorite feel like humanities and culture and how people live and think and i love learning languages um so uh i am very very slowly 
observing uh, the Muslim culture. To be really, really honest, I am still not comfortable with Muslim culture. It's just too strict for me. Too many rules. Like, for example, here, Irish beef is yummy too. You cannot, but you cannot really, as a Muslim, you cannot go to regular Irish restaurants because they are not halal. So, something like that. There are so many conflicts between how the way I lived my life for the whole 30 plus years. Uh, I never like hesitated to go to any restaurant because of my food uh, preference or because of the restriction from religion. I never, ever had that experience. I mean, I always try everything whenever I go to different culture. So, but there was never like a restriction, like I'm not allowed to eat this or that because of the food in there. Like it was more like how I decide as a person. So it was really, really tough for me to accept Muslim uh, food restrictions. And there, there could be more like Ramadan, like you have to do fasting and you have to follow their way. And sometimes like it's not exactly healthy what I agree. Um, like, for example, I feel like I shouldn't eat. I shouldn't eat three hours before sleeping, but Ramadan only allows you to eat at night time. Something like that. I, I don't really never, I never done Ramadan, so I don't want to say any of my opinion yet, but I just want to say that um, Muslim culture uh, is so new to me and I'm taking it a little by little. I really want to understand as much as possible because I love the kids I'm teaching um, and my babysitter family are the best for my daughter uh, for the last two years. They're so great and I want my daughter to eventually go visit Muslim culture countries uh, with the babysitter family and maybe myself too. So yeah, I think it's really good for me um good journey for me through my daughter and through my uh japanese teaching i am sharing my culture and i'm trying to understand their culture it's just really related to everything like the food if these muslim kids when they go to japan they have to know which food they can eat, which will be very limited, limited, and I'm kind of feel terrible about it. But I just want them to uh, find a way to survive. So that's one of the reason I really have to do research about understand what they can eat and what not, because um, Japan we don't have halal food. Maybe in Tokyo, maybe in some big cities. There are Muslim communities, as I researched, uh, I never know, I never knew that there were Muslim communities, but there are actually 100,000, more than 100,000, and plus they're every year increasing the Muslim population. So it was a good start for me, like if there's any problem, uh, the Muslim kids have a place to go to, um, survive to eat food and feel comfortable that they are accepted and they have they know that there are people surviving in Japan from Muslim culture but yeah anyway I um that will be um maybe the next couple of few years um my I will be expanding my understanding of the Muslim culture and how they are um how they are uh how muslim people feeling in japan in asian countries like non-muslim countries um that's another topic i will be learning eventually because the kids i'm teaching will be going to japan for sure they love japan so they will be then i will be I would be so happy these kids go to Japan because like myself as a Japanese, I went to 
Western countries and that when I was young, I was between 12 and 16 years old for the first couple of times to experience different Western countries and that totally opened my mind up. It was life changing and I can't appreciate uh, enough um, that I went abroad. I mean, especially because of my personality too, I couldn't uh, stay in Japan. I really, I uh, my gut was telling me I gotta go out to see the world. Like I am not fitting in Japan. <laughs> Anyways, uh, long story short, that was um, my journey at the moment with Muslim culture. And I have to say, I'm very honored to have uh, to learn Muslim culture and from Muslim people locally. Uh, that's the max I can do at the moment. But um, I, today I went to the library, local library. They had some Muslim books. My daughter brought it to me. Um, she doesn't read language yet. She's too young, but she brought the book and there, I'm learning more Muslim culture. It's just fun. I really love uh, what I'm doing here in Ireland. Okay, bye for the next video.